first up, we're going to do some WAN 2.2ing video inferencing right here. So I've got a horse running along the beach with a giant wave about to crash into the beach. And I've offloaded the checkpoint directory to the RAID 0. I'm going to hit run. I'm testing this out for the first time. Will it work? Let's do the 5 billion parameter model. WAN 2.2, in case you don't know, just came out, I think, uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, yeah, I've got it working on the Mac OS. I've only got the 5 billion parameter version working. The, the bigger one Oof, needs a bit more work. You can't you can get it working, just gonna take a little bit more time for me to fix it up. But yeah, the five billion parameter works and what's good about it is it now sports almost 720p videos. So previously it would take four hours on my Mac Studio M3 Ultra to create, <laughs> to create, to create a 720p video, but thanks to the 5B version, it only takes about 10 minutes. So let's see what's happening right here. It's creating the WAN TI2 video pipeline, which means text and image to video. With this guy, you can feed it an image or a video and it will change the reference image and make a new video out of it, which is amazing. I've done some really cool experiments with it. And it's uh, very, very fun. Very, very fun that it's uh, open source and free. So we're loading the model right now. It says we're loading RAID 0. It's loaded, boom, just like that. The shards have been loaded as well. So now it's gonna start generating the video. See right there, it is inferencing away, just doing all of the blocks. And we've got 10 passes gonna happen and that should be done very soon. So it's completed successfully. So let's see what it looks like. Well, we got a horse on the screen and uh, it's meant to be a wave. I've only ran it 10 times. There's the steps I've taken. Really, you need at least 20 for it to look amazing. Maybe I'll run that afterwards, but we got it working. So that is good. WAN has passed 720p and it didn't take long whatsoever. So next up, let's do some inferencing of, uh, let's do Quen. So looking into my memory manager over here, we've got the memory used as 60 and it's climbing as it's loading the model into memory. Now this model is 191 gigabytes. So it's a big win. It's a big win. And by the way, if anyone's interested in these quants that I made, I can upload it. I've already uploaded the Kimi K2 one and it's been downloading for a few people, kind of surprised by that. And uh, that is available online. And yeah, so if you do want your own, um, if you do want a copy of my quants, just let me know and I'll upload it. I've upgraded my internet now. So I do have faster uploading speed before it was taking like three days to upload half a terabyte, which uh, maybe makes sense. So we got the model loaded there. It ran it at, 25 tokens a second now this is a q6 which means the perplexity is like pretty much just just within one percent of the full fat version we got 25 tokens let's just say write me a snake game using html yeah let's do, do html let's do it on the web and boom right there it's gonna think about it and here's a complete game copy and paste it into html file and put it in your browser to play. And look, it's writing out the tokens right there. And this is the Quen 235B active 22 billion parameters. So we're done. It's printed out the HTML and it's even giving me some instructions on how to use it. Peak memory was 191 gigabytes. That's for the Q6, it's amazing. And we've got 22 and a half tokens a second. So let's copy this in. Let's just see if it works first. Oi, that was cool. It's actually working. Okay, this is too much fun. So I've got to make it a bit more intelligent just because I'm having fun here. And we are going to go in there and hopefully still loaded. Perfect, it's still loaded. I'm going to say, can you use 3.js and, oh no, oh, oh, oh. Can you, you make it 3D perspective with 3.js instead? And let's see how it will handle that. So we got it to build a snake game and now we're going to make it into 3D. And what I'll do for this test, just to make it interesting, I'll ask ChatGPT the exact same question and see what kind of response we get. Okay, so that's inferencing away on ChatGPT's side and we're inferencing away on our local side. And on our side here, we got it and it took 21 tokens a second. And let's copy that in and let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Quen A235 versus ChatGPT. Whoa, that looks cool. Oh, dude. It doesn't work. Okay, let's see ChatGPT's version. Let's try it 
try out again. Very similar, gotta say. Okay, Chat Chips version is working. So uh, that is that. That is uh, ChatGPT wins that one. Although maybe the fact that I gave it multiple prompts that might have confused it. Let's see if it can fix it. I'll say when you press start, nothing happens. And it's just going ahead and giving me the code changes. But that is another situation, another test for another day. What we want to test is, can we get the coder version to run and can we get it to work just like ChatGPT's version worked? So let's go there and instead of running quinn 3235 we're gonna run the coder quinn coder and this is a q6 480 billion parameter model we'll see how much memory it eats up and we'll see how long it takes to load so so it's going ahead and loading the coder version into memory right now 400 gigabytes we're gonna eat up 400 gigabytes of ram and hopefully it's gonna be a quality edition so it's in memory right now and it's printing out the way very, very fast. This coder edition, very, very, very fast. I've got to say it's 35 billion active parameters. It's faster than reading speed. Probably it's good that I can debug and inspect. We're using 3JS out of the box there. And uh, we've got the fonts, Sigil UI to Homa, Geneva. All this kind of good stuff. So it's printing out away and will it work? All right, we are done. It's giving us some instructions at the end here. I'm hoping that this will be a better version than this smaller Quinn. 235 billion parameters isn't big enough. We need the 480 billion parameter version. It's got really, really good guidance on telling you what to do. And we used our peak memory, it was 391 gigabytes. And we have generated 18 tokens a second. So even though it was a vastly bigger model, it's still very, very fast. Yowzers, this is a proper page. Just, this is an actual proper, it's, like, it's an actual page. Will it run? I mean, this is the example ChatGPT gave. It was, uh, I don't know what's happening here. There you go, it's working. So this ChatGPT's version, Quen Coder has given us how to play, a background gradient, a bit of neon lighting. Will it work though? Let's find out. Start getting, it's working. Hey, oi, look at that. That is cool. I mean, it's a bit hard to play because it's dark. But let's see, can we pause it? But just out of the box, 18 tokens a second, worked off of the SSD, and the performance you're getting is better than ChatGPT. And it's open source, that is amazing.